Welcome to this class where we shall be answering questions on scales of measurement. This is an area where many students have a problem, yet it should be at their fingertips. Because the scale of measurement or the level at which you have collected your variable or data on your variable determines the statistical tool that you are going to use. So anytime you are thinking about the method of data collection or how you will collect data on your variables, then scales of measurement becomes key. This is because the way you will collect data and the way you will be anal you will analyze is determined by the scale at which you have collected your variables. So we are going to discuss the four scales of measurement and the other researchers who call them levels of measurement. Now, a variable will vary in two or more categories all on a continuum of scores. And this is telling us that a variable can exist as a category or can exist in categories and can also exist on a continuum of scores. So when we talk about a continuum, remember the number I used to talk about long time ago. You know, if that is zero, we have the negatives on this side and we have positives on this side. So, continuum, when we talk about a continuum, we are talking about scores that can vary from the negative side to the positive side up to uh, uh, infinity. So, when we see that a variable will vary in two or more categories, so we can have categories variables existing in categories or on a continuum of scores, we, what in essence we are talking about is the scale of measurement. So the scale of measurement refers to the way in which data collected on variables are categorized or they are quantified numbers or categories. So variables can exist as categories and therefore we will collect their data as categories or they can exist in numbers or we can collect data on them in form of numbers. And that is what scale of measurement tells us. Now, there are four levels of measurement or there are four scales of measurement. The first one is called nominal and this is the lowest. The second one is called ordinal, and this is, there is some order. The third one is called interval, and the fourth one is called ratio. The simplest way to remember this one is to say that nominal names, ordinal orders, interval, no absolute zero, and ratio, there is absolute zero. Now, these two, or in these two, variables exist as categories, and that is why they are called categorical. When you hear a, a researcher talking about categorical variables, they are the variables measured at ordinal and nominal. Now, these two, last two exist in numbers. And that is why they are also called continuous. So these two, the last two exist in numbers and the first, the first two exist in categories, taking us back to our definition. So nominal scale measures variables that we use for identification only. So at nominal, we measure variables that are used for identification only. So nom that's why we are saying it only names. So when we talk about gender, eye color, skin color, race, your name, all those are just labels. Actually, 
normal any number that is assigned to these variables is only a label it is only a tag because it is used to identify or classify the object it does not have or carry any quantitative value what do we mean by that if for instance we talk about marital status and we have collected data on marital status we have people who are single we have people who are married we have people who are divorced when we get to analysis we are going to attach a label to these responses maybe we give single one married two and three and you can also interchange because these numbers carry no quantitative value what we have done we only identify the variable marital status and we were able to collect data as a category so these numbers carry no quantitative value so at the nominal scale the variables that are used are for identification or they only name the variable any number attached to them carries no quantitative value then we go to ordinal ordinal we have said there is some order so this level or this scale measures variables that have values that have been ordered and this ordering is from either high to low or low to high there is some order according to quantity but the difference between these levels are not equal there is some order but the difference between this these levels are not equal when you are assigned when you are assigned values to at ordinal level they reflect that either high to low or low to high or least to most etc now let us look at educational level for instance educational level there is some order you can start from the lowest level maybe the basic education then we go to maybe college education maybe tertiary education if there is a difference between the two and then university education there is some order from maybe the highest to the lowest or we can reverse start from the high, the lowest to the highest now when we talk about this variable called educational level it has gone a step further it is not only naming but it has ordered this vari this variable from the lowest to the highest or from the highest to the lowest so when we want to analyze again we will attach labels and we can reverse we were only at, we are we'll only be attaching labels just like we did here that is why we call these two categorical if the need we want to talk about age group age group so we may say below 19 to 25 26 to 30 31 to 35 above 36 again this is a variable that has been ordered from the lowest to the highest there is some order but the differences between this the difference between these levels are not equal from one level to the other they are not equal so even if you are to talk about how many years are below 19 and how many years are above 36 they will not be the same as the number of years between 20 and 25 or 26 to 30 etc etc then we move to the third one which is interval so we have said these two are categorical now interval are those variables whose interval between them are equal so here we say they they are not equal here the interval between them is equal but they do not have an absolute zero to get to 40 degrees celsius or 60 or 50 or 70 we did not start from an absolute zero when we say absolute zero we are talking about absolute nothingness we do not for, start from up 0 degrees celsius which means 
zero temperature. We measured base temperature from a level which is not absolute zero. When you say zero degrees Celsius, we are, we are talking about temperature at zero degrees Celsius. So interval measures variables whose intervals between them are equal, but they do not start at absolute zero. If you talk about a uh, Likert scale, which measures attitude, when you draw a Likert scale and you say five is strongly the agree, four is agree, three is undecided, two is strongly disagree, no, uh, disagree, and then one is strongly disagree. So here you have strongly agree, this is agree, this is undecided, disagree, and this is strongly disagree. Now, this, the interval between 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 5 is 1, 1, 1. But we do not measure this attitude. We do not start from an absolute zero because nobody has a zero attitude. So we are measuring it from a level which is not absolute zero. But when we talk about ratio, ratio is those variables that start from absolute zero. They are, they mean absence of that property. So when we talk about ratio, ratio scale are variables that start from absolute zero. They have a true zero point. For instance, if we say that the distance from X and Y is 20 kilometers, you are starting from zero kilometers and you move 20 kilometers and you get to Y. When you say that your weight is 50 kilograms, then you are stepping on the scale when it is at point zero. And immediately you step on it, then the pointer will be at a zero point. When you move, step on it, then it will move to 50 kgs. So here there is absolute zero. Here there is no absolute zero. Here there is some order. Here there is meaning. The first two are called categorical. The last two are called continuous because they exist in numbers. These ones can only exist in categories. Finally, you can convert a higher variable into a lower one, but you cannot convert a lower variable into a higher one. We we'll use the example of age. Now, age is measured at ratio or interval based on how you would want to look at the person. If you have a time that the person is zero years or zero minute or zero seconds, let's say it is continuous. We can take the age of students. Some are 19, 20, 35, 40, 41, 60, 39, 20, 25, 27, 27, 32. Let's leave it there. This is measured at continuous level. We can convert this into ratio, into ordinal level. What we will do, we will look at the values and then we would say how many are, I think our lowest is 19, above 19, who are between 20 and 25, 26 to 30, 31 to 35, maybe we say above 36. And we start telling. So 19, we have 1, 20 to 25, we have 1, 2, 3. Then we do again for the others. But we cannot convert this age group, which is categorical, into age. We cannot convert this one into age, but we can convert age to age group. So you can convert the continuous to categorical, but you cannot do the vice versa. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Feel free to write any comment that you have, any question that you have on the comment section, and I will be able to respond to you. Do not forget to like and share this lesson and subscribe to the Research Methods Class YouTube channel. Thank you.